Hey everybody, this is Corbin, and I want to talk about unipacking and how I set up my unicycle for when I did the Arizona Trail. It wasn't too hard to set up the unicycle. You can just buy some off-the-shelf components from REI and you can get going right away. Having a bag makes it a little bit easier, but you don't necessarily need to do that. So let's take a look at what I have. So first of all, here is my unicycle that I used for the tour. It is a Cage 26 that uh, has a Schlump hub, which I actually had a problem with, so right now it doesn't have the tire on it for cranks. And I want to talk about what worked well and what didn't work well. First of all, my custom made pannier that I put here in the front, that worked awesome. Some things that I would change about it have a side pocket to access things and I also have one that's over in the front and I use the front one more primarily the side one was nice to kind of use to stuff additional stuff in when I needed to it would have put the zipper going the opposite direction it should go forward and not backwards having the zipper right here would sometimes rub my leg a little bit so that is something I'd change about it the location and the way that it hung on the unicycle was awesome. It didn't bother my legs. It just got some straps around the top to hold it on. And it worked really well. Having weight here helped offset weight that I would have on the rear of the unicycle. Underneath the seat, I have another little pack I made. I, I would have put the zipper probably a little bit, a little bit zipping up also so I could get into it a little easier. Right now, I, I kind of just take the Velcro off and pull it off in order to access it. Uh, I would keep a spare tube in here, some medical supplies, and a spare bar. Uh, just a little bit of emergency stuff. The little Topeak one underneath the seat is just a standard bike bag, and I would just keep my tools in here. Uh, ideally, I would make another rear pack that would hang underneath here. That would be perfect to have more weight on the unicycle, because I like the weight to be really close to the center of the axis of the unicycle. The closer the weight is to the center of the axis of the unicycle, the easier it is to ride. The further the weight is out in the back of a rack, the more side-to-side -side sway you'll get and the harder it is to ride. So let's take a look at how I would pack up and set this up. Uh, th th so this is just a really simple stuff sack that I made. And what I would do is I would take my tent I wouldn't have it in the bag, I would just take this bag and not carry it with me because why bring the extra weight? And I would take it and shove it in the stuff sack first. Right now I'm just gonna, for demo purposes, just shove it on in. And this is my sleeping bag. Again, I wouldn't bring a bag for it, but for just demo purposes, I'm just gonna take it and shove it on in here into my bag. And what this is going to do is it's going to be kind of extra full for an example. So normally I would shove this with my tent, I have my tent, my sleeping bag which would compact way down far into it and I would also shove in my extra clothes that I needed, my spare jacket, and I would wrap it around my stove and my pot, and that way I had a bunch of heavy weight all in the rear of the unicycle. Now, once I have it all stuffed in, this bag was really simple to make, I just sewed it together. I would then attach it to the rear of the unicycle. So, let's check out how I attach it. Alright, so let's see how I would attach my bag to the rear of the unicycle. There's a few different ways you can do it. And what I would do is just have the unicycle kind of here in front. I just use two straps that are just something I bought at REI. They just clip in and that's it. And I would just take these and slip them in 
in and around the rack somewhere. Kind of in and over. One on each side of the rack. Then I would take my bag, which is going to be stuffed a lot fuller than it is right now for demo purposes. I kind of feel where the poles are, and I put the poles somewhere where they wouldn't squish. Now, what I was doing is, I would really prefer to put the bag with all the weight close to the center of gravity. So I was putting it horizontal. That makes it a little hard to mount. But the weight was closer to me, which I found to be a lot easier to ride. You can do what Jamie and Rebecca did, which is go in line with it, which works a lot better with the rack. It's a little easier to kind of get it all wrapped around it. But I didn't like having the weight so far to the rear. It made it harder to, to ride. I felt like I was wanting to get pulled back or fall back. So I would put it kind of horizontal or perpendicular to things. Then I would just grab one side and you can set it so you can pull it either way. And just take these guys. And after a while, you'll probably get a favorite way of putting them on. Either you can pull them up or down. I, I usually like to pull them this way. They're kind of backwards right now. And so I pull it nice and tight. On top of it, I could put another regular stretchy wrap to kind of attach extra accessories. But would be the basics on how I would actually get everything set up. I would have the front pannier to kind of balance out some weight in the front, which worked great. I really liked having the front one. It was thin enough where it didn't rub my legs, and I could put a lot heavier weight and help balance the rear heavier weight of the rear bag. So, like I said, other things I would change is I would totally build uh, a rear pannier that was right under the rear of here to get more weight off of my body. Having more weight onto the unicycle is drastically better than having it on my backpack. So here's just another look of what the unicycle would look like set up from the top. We have the front pannier and the rear bag around it. And this rack, you can buy at REI. Pretty simple. The pannier has to be custom made. Uh, yeah, that is it.